the Mass Intentions this morning, the 14th of July, and the eighth day of the Novena to Our Lady of Mount Carmel. In thanksgiving for the graces received through the intercession of Our Lady, for Carmel, our families, friends, and benefactors, for Pope Francis, all bishops, peace, and religious, and for all those who have been recommended to our prayers, for the repose of the soul of Owen Oliver, for the souls in purgatory, for the conversion of sinners, and for the reign of God's kingdom on earth. I exult for joy in the Lord. My soul rejoices in my God, for he has clothed me in the garment of salvation and robed me in the cloak of justice. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. In this Mass today, the Lord gives us a divine invitation. He calls us to lay under his feet all our burdens and worries. So in this Mass, we pray for ourselves and for all the people who are overburdened in the world, that they may find rest through the grace of God. Amen. I invite you to present your own intention to God our Father for this Mass. Brethren, to prepare ourselves to celebrate these sacred mysteries worthily, let us call to mind our sins. I confess to my to God into you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and to you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. We are celebrating devotive mass of Our Lady of Mount Carmel. Today is the last day, the eighth day of our, our novena. Lord God, you willed that the order of Mount, order of Carmel should be named in honor of the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of your Son. Through her prayers, as we honor her today, bring us to everlasting joy in her company. We ask this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. The way of the righteous is level. You make smooth the path of the righteous. In the path of your judgments, O oh Lord, we wait for you. Your memorial name is the desire of our soul. My soul yearns for you in the night. My spirit within me earnestly seeks you. 
For when your judgments are in the earth, the inhabitants of the world learn righteousness. O Lord, you will ordain peace for us. You have wrought for us all our works. O Lord, in distress they sought you. They poured out a prayer when your chastening was upon them. Like a woman with a child, who reads and cries out in her pants when she is near her time. So were we because of you, O Lord. We were with the child we read, but we gave birth only to wind. We have wrought no deliverance in the earth, and the inhabitants of the world have not fallen. Your dead shall live, their bodies shall rise. O dwellers in the dust, awake and sing for joy, for your Jew is a Jew of light, and on, land, on the land of the sheds you will let it fall. The word of the Lord. The Lord looked down from heaven to the earth. The Lord looks down from heaven to the earth. But you, O Lord, are enthroned forever, and your renown is from age to age. You will arise and take pity on Zion, for this is the time to have mercy. Behold, your servants love her very stones, are moved to pity for her dust. The Lord looks down from heaven to the earth. The nations shall fear the name of the Lord, and all the earth's kings your glory. When the Lord shall build up Zion, he will appear in all his glory. Then he will turn to the prayers of the helpless. He will not despise their prayers. The Lord looks down from heaven to the earth. Let this be written for ages to come, that a people yet unborn may praise the Lord. The Lord looked down from his holy place on high, looked down from heaven to the earth, to hear the groans of the prisoners and free those condemned to die. The Lord looked down from heaven to the earth, Alleluia. Alleluia. Come to me, all who labor and are heavy laden, and I will give you rest, says the Lord. Alleluia. <laughs> the Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, Lord. At that time, Jesus declared, Come to me, all who labor and are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you and learn from me, for I am gentle and lowly in heart and you will find rest for your souls. For my yoke is easy, and my burden is light. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Like I mentioned from the beginning, the Lord is giving us today a divine invitation. A divine invitation. He said, come to me. Come to me, all who labor and are heavy laden. So the Lord knows that there are people who labor and who are not just laden, but heavy laden in the world. And so today he offers us invitation. I said, just come to me and I will give you rest. But there is something that seems like a contradiction in the statement of our Lord today. 
all who labor and are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. Again, he turns and says, take my yoke, for my yoke is easy and my burden light. Remember, he said, all who labor and overburdened, come. Now he's telling us, take my yoke, for my yoke is easy and my body light. It follows that there is body that comes to us, and there is also body of the Lord. The body of the Lord is different from the body of the world. If you read St. John's Gospel, chapter 16, verse number 33, Jesus himself will tell us, he said, in the world, in the world, you shall find tribulation. But he said, be of good cheers, for I have overcome. So in the world, you find labor. In the world, you find challenges. In the world, you find difficulties. These are called heavy laden, and many of us carry them. There is what I call existential problems, existential labor. For the fact that you are a human being is already a burden, yes. For the fact that you are a religious is a burden of its kind, yes. To be in a confined environment, away from your friends and family, you are restricted what to put on, where to go, how to express. It's a body. But remember, Jesus also speaks of his own body. As different from the body we find in the world. So it means that the body of Jesus Christ is a yoke of Jesus Christ. Different from the yoke and bodies of the world. You remember what is a yoke? You know, a kind of wooden, weighty, a cross piece placed on the neck of an animal, usually in twos to make them plow, you know. So it's a body on the load, on the, uh, on the neck of an animal. Just the way you find that yoke on the neck of an animal, that is where you find the burden, the yoke of the world. On the load, on the neck of each of us. It could be the burden of sickness. It could be the burden of family challenges. It could be a burden of living and working with people that come from different generations. You are going this way, they want to go this way. And then it's a burden. Misunderstanding challenges. Not because the person is, is, is evil, but because the understanding and mentality do not agree. It's a body. And it's there in the world. Jesus said, just come to me, all who labor, and I will give you rest. So Jesus tells us that there is rest for our soul. And that rest for our soul is found on the yoke of Jesus. It's found on the body of Jesus. The yoke of Jesus and the body of Jesus is the life Jesus gives us. It's identity Jesus gives us. It brings freedom, even though it's a yoke itself. There is what I call foolishness, saving foolishness. You know, in the scripture, Jesus would say, if somebody slaps you here, show him the other side. And I look at this, I consider it nothing but foolishness. Because in the world, when you, or somebody slaps you, the natural thing will be you slap back. But Jesus said, instead of slapping back, do what? Give the other side of your cheek. I consider that foolishness. But that is a saving foolishness. Just like the body of Jesus is a saving body. Nonetheless, it's a body. Because when you are a child of God, you are limited. There are certain things you cannot do. There are certain weird places you cannot go. It's a body. You don't have that freedom. But it is a saving burden. It's the life of Christ God has granted us. The first reading of today, Isaiah tells us, God himself is the one that makes straight the path of the righteous. And so it is wrong to start casting and binding devil. 
their enemies. It's wrong. Some churches do it. From morning to night, they pray, die by fire, die by fire. You cannot do that. Jesus is the one who fights. And he said, come to me. I will give you rest. In other words, I will settle your enemies. I will settle your challenges. All you need to do is come. And this is a divine invitation God is offering us today. So let us, dear friends in Christ, bring to him our challenges, our pains, our sorrows, our fears. Let's drop them before Jesus. He's more than able to grant our soul rest. So in this mass, we pray for rest, just rest. And God, many a times, we even fear to come to you. This is true. Many a times, we carry it on ourselves. But we want you, please, in this mass, to break our heart, that we may lay before you our burdens, and then freedom and rest be granted by you to our souls. Amen. Flowing from the frequency of the word of God today, can we please stand and ask God to grant us rest? Father, we lay before you our burdens, our challenges. It is becoming tough day in, day night in this world. You know this. Even the strong are becoming weary. Our world today is filled with lots of pains and challenges, political upheavals everywhere, protests, dissatisfaction, violence, killing, murder, going on everywhere in our world. And people are becoming disoriented. Father, we come to you with our entire self, with our burdens, with our worries, with our fears and challenges. We present ourselves and our families and all your children, especially those who are confused today. Please grant us peace and the rest. We make our prayers through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness receive the bread which we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness receive the wine which we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become a spiritual drink. Pray, brethren, that your sacrifice and mine 
may be acceptable to the Lord Almighty Father. May the Lord accept this sacrifice for the praise and glory of his name for good and good of all. Lord God, we reverently offer these gifts in memory of Our Lady of Mount Carmel. In your service, may our loved, may our love become like hers, and so unite us more closely with the work of redemption through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right, right and just our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, and to praise, bless and glorify your name as we honor the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God. Your word filled your, her hearts and inspired all her actions, making her constant in prayer with the apostles and through her share in our salvation, constituting her the spiritual mother of all mankind. She watches unceasingly with a mother's loving care over the brethren of her son and lies up among our pilgrim way to the Mount of Carmel. Our beacon of comfort and embodiment of all hopes as members of the church. And so, with all the angels and saints, we praise you as without end we acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy. Therefore, this gift we pray by sending down your spirit upon them like they do fall, so that it may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly to his passion, he took bread. And giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith, Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving things that have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis our Paul, Stephen and Sylvester, our bishops and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of their resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that we blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed St. Joseph has passed, with the blessed apostles, with all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, 
We may merit to be co-heirs eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Amen. At the Savior's command, I'm formed by divine teaching, we there to say, Amen. Who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who say to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church. And graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who we'll live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And Lamb of God. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold, he who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. The Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my mercy, but only the Lord is worthy of the Lamb. body of Christ. Amen. The body of Christ. Amen. The body of Christ. Amen. Body of Christ. Amen. Body of Christ. Amen. Body of Christ. Amen. The body of Christ. Amen. Body of Christ. Amen.
all generations we call me blessed because God has looked upon his lowly handmaid. Let us pray. Lord, you have strengthened us with food from heaven. May the re remembrance of Our Lady of Mount Carmel always bring us happiness and peace in the knowledge of her protection and help us to become what we want to be, what you want us to be. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. So we take our novena prayer today, being the eighth day. Once again, we present the entire world before Our Lady, the people who are done through the, the sick in our world and in our families and in our parish, the confused youth of our generation. In this novena, may Our Lady, through her powerful intercession, carry them and all of us to her Son as we pray. O oh, most beautiful flower of Mount Carmel, fruitful vine, splendor of heaven, blessed mother of the Son of God, immaculate virgin, look down lovingly upon me and cover me with the mantle of your special protection. Strengthen my weakness with your power. Enlighten the darkness of my mind with your wisdom. Increase in me faith, hope, and love. Adorn my soul with such graces and virtues as will ever be pleasing to your divine Son and to you. Assist me in life and in particular the grace I now ask. Provided it be the will of your divine Son, console me with help, with your most holy presence, that I may eternally bless and praise you in paradise. Amen. O Queen, who art the beauty of Carmel, pray for us. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth, the Mass is ended. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God.